Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and uh, thanks for all the new, new subscribers. That's Jamie and Sam. Nice one guys. Thank you. Um, so I've, I'm back with another quick tip on the Illustrator Flex. Um, so it's basically how to set angle guides. This is something that's really handy. You might have seen some really nice uh, dribble shots of people using their guides in their shots and stuff and it looks really, really mint. Um, well, that's not just for aesthetic effect, it's basically to help people, uh, help designers lay out their designs better. So I'm gonna do a quick tip on how to do that. So I'm gonna get a really nice high res uh, document open. I'm gonna go custom it, create 200 by 200. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna create a quick rectangle, make sure I have <coughs> Um, my smart guides on that's command U um, so basically help me create a really tight uh, smart rectangle so once you've got a rectangle that covers the whole of the document then we go command R to bring up your rulers and we drag out from the right a vertical ruler and we drag out from the top a horizontal ruler. We zoom in, so as you can see this is the center point, let me zoom out, this is the center point of the rectangle, so I'm going to try and get that guide as close to that center point as possible. Now now these guides are, guides are actually locked, I'm going to unlock them by going option command colon, and there you go, it's unlocked there. So I need to keep on clicking it back to bring the, the center point back and then it should snap to the guide. And then option command colon again to lock those guys. Delete the rectangle. And then I am going to then create my angles. So I'm gonna option command colon again and then Basically, Command C or Control C, uh, Command Shift V, which is paste in place. So I basically copied and paste in place that that um, that guide. So now <coughs> I'm going to press R to bring up the rotational um, tool. Click in the very middle, and then I'm going to drag that guide. So that's 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 the, uh, the rotational tool in full effect there. So now I want I want the guide to be uh, for exactly 30. So I'll do that again. So if you hold down shift, it will snap to 45, but we don't want that. So I'll go to 30 and go as close to 30 as possible. Oh, well, 30.18, nothing much in it. So now you can see it's still highlighted. So now, if you go to Illustrator Preferences General, you see that my keyboard keyboard increments are set to one millimeter. So I'm going to change that to ten, and you'll see why that works in a second. So if I hold down Command, uh, sorry, yeah, Command, not Command, sorry, Option, Option, and then the right arrow key, and hold that down. See, that uh, brings out my angled guides further. And if I undo that, so that basically copying that uh, the the preferences for that guide over and over again. Then I highlight that guide again, and then do it option left. And well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we have it. So the the angle guides are guides are, uh, are laid out for you. Now what I'm going to do is then Command C or copy copy and paste in place them. Now they're selected, even though it doesn't look like they're selected, they are selected. So don't touch anything else. Just right click, then transform, reflect, vertical, boom. And there we have it. We've got um, some angled guides. And um, ready to ready for your for your nice designs. Hopefully that was a helpful tutorial.
thanks again and uh, please like and subscribe um, I'll be doing more of these videos soon um, last week was a bit hard a bit hectic with work and life so it was hard to get another video out last week for my quick tips but in the future I'm thinking about doing some more creative videos um, so yeah like subscribe and comment thanks a lot bye bye